the focusing oriented therapy course this year at the summer school is like every year it is about the interests of the people that come so whoever decides to come to the course will have a say in what we explore and how we explore it so um my interest this year is specifically on how we can remain connected with ourselves while being with clients, people that we work with, uh, because I think that that is a real challenge. There is a real temptation, especially in the world of psychotherapy now, the way it's going, there's a real temptation, I think, for us to go up into our heads and to listen from theories or categories or um, to listen to the client almost as though they're a separate person across from us. And what I would like us to experiment with is to listen to the other person through our whole body. And so we have one eye on the other person, but we always have at least part of our attention on how our body is, our body is responding moment by moment to that particular other person. But the course will include uh, the practice of integrating focusing into psychotherapy, counseling, coaching. And it will also include probably little bits of the philosophy because I think that deep understanding always underpins the practice, even if we're just beginning. And I suspect that the group will probably have a mixture of experienced people and people who really are just beginning and everyone is welcome. So the course will unfold as soon as we see who comes. Well, the class is usually um, kind of formed around a little bit of discussion, some uh, supervision of client work, but mostly experiential work. Either we're working with each other, or we're watching demonstrations. So it's a real mixture. It is by means up there trying to teach something and lecturing. It's, uh, it's much more interactive. As much as people want that, I mean, no one is ever pressed to uh, participate in a way that they aren't comfortable participating. Uh, but it, it's quite lively. And what I hope people will get from it is, um, I hope immediately that they get a different sense of themselves in their work. I think that's, that's the most important thing that it is somehow both personally enriching and about their own being in the world while at the same time, and I think it must be at the same time, uh, having some already some influence on their client work so that they could leave the summer school feeling differently about how they are in their work and that the immediate consequence of that is that their work is different. The way that I teach, it's very informal. And for me, the relationship between the teacher and the student must uh, be congruent with the focusing listening relationship. So that every moment of teaching, the intention is that this is also a moment that shows this whole approach. So that it's very democratic. Um, that we are careful that we include everyone in the group, all of their interests and points of view, and also all of the interests and points of view of every part of every person, not just the aspect of the person that they can immediately show in a group. But many of us, I think, have uh, parts of ourselves that we kind of push to the back and don't really want to be seen when we're in a group setting, or we're anxious that it wouldn't be accepted if that was seen or something. So, of course, no one's under any pressure to show or expose parts of themselves that they aren't ready to have them seen by other people. But at least we will work in a way that the person themselves can have some awareness of aspects that maybe they don't want to show, but they want to begin to experiment with welcoming. So that the whole environment, teaching environment, is another instance of 
focusing and listening and how we uh, how our interactions with each other are immediately felt in the body um, it's important to me that the whole method of teaching goes along with the philosophy and the practice of focusing so I am not there to impose some rigid structure on students. Uh, for me, that just does not go with focusing. Uh, we're there together, just like you would in a focusing experience, to see what comes. And as the teacher, my responsibility is to hold that in a way that, that real learning occurs. It's not um, just uh, personal processing. It's processing and also some learning. I'm looking forward to seeing who comes. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting new people. I, I really enjoy every year uh, meeting new people from around the world. Um, I'm looking forward to teaching. I enjoy teaching, especially at the summer school because it's long enough that we get to know each other a little bit more than in some teaching situations. And it has a nice kind of balance of intensity and kind of ease where it's uh, partly a summer holiday for people sometimes. And also most people want really to go away with some learning. And that combination seems to uh, create a kind of an openness that is uh, very nice to be within. I really enjoy teaching with the rest of the teaching team. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a hot August in New York. 